So I'm I, just wondering because, and we've talked about this before, the record does look similar to Mark Rick. It does. Yeah, we've it, talked it, it about just, this. I mean, we've talked about it, and everyone was calling for his head. He ended up losing his job. So, you know, at, at what point, um, you know, did they treat Mark Rick unfairly and have they learned their lesson with Kirby Smart and are going to, are willing to be patient and kind of wait this out? Or oh. is it the same thing? I don't think so. Um, I think, I mean, obviously, we stuck with Mark Rick for years yeah. and years and years and years. <laughs> and, um, and it was the same thing. I, I think. I think that we had seen Mark yes. Rick's. I think we hold on. Yes. I think we had seen Mark Rick's yes. ceiling. Yes, we saw it. I don't think we've seen Kirby's ceiling yet. I think Kirby has um, a higher ceiling than Rick did. And here, here's the deal. And hold on, Matt. I think so. Let me relate this to. Go ahead. On. Let me relate this to uh, Butch Jones versus uh, Jeremy hey. Pruitt. I'm sorry. I said, "Don't you bring that son of a gun up." He was, I'm sorry. he was drinking. You almost but choked the man. Jesus, here's, man. Here's the deal. Okay, no, hold on. If we're, I mean, no, I'm just trying to do kind of like a comparison here, and I think this is fair. Some some people are throwing Pruitt under the bus because things are, are the, the the experience is similar. However, if you look at the football on the field, and I think I don't know about after this week, but before this week, you would probably agree with this statement that the football on the field just looks different. That Football on the field under Butch Jones looks different than football on the field with Jeremy Pruitt. And I don't know if that's fair, but I think at least maybe before last week, you may have said that. I don't know if you said that anymore. Anyway, in my estimation, that's the deal with Mark Rick versus Kirby Smart. Just watching those teams. And I know at the end of the day, we can say that all that matters is the stats and, it, you know, whatever. But if you watch what's going on on the field, it doesn't look similar at all. And it, uh, to me, the, t the potential is so much greater with Kirby. Now, does he make some stupid decisions? Absolutely. I'm not going to sit here and defend the guy, um, you know, endlessly, especially since I don't know him and he doesn't pay my bills. But, um, you know, at the end of the day, that's, that's my personal opinion as a Georgia fan. I know what Georgia football looked like under Mark Rick. I've seen what it, I've, I think we have a good uh, sample size for, uh, for Kirby's tenure so far that I can safely say that the football on the field just looks totally different. Um, and, and the philosophy is different. I don't know. No, that's fair. I just, I think it's just a, an interesting question to pose. Um, because like we said, we've, we've compared them a lot. So if, you know, fans and the university and the boosters and whoever think that it, it comes down to kind of those intangible things like you're mentioning, then yeah, I just, um, I just always, I've just been interested in that because they are so similar when you look at numbers mm -hmm. um, that it was it was something I was wondering, especially after losing to Florida. Yeah, and you know, don't get me wrong, I I, I kind of you know kind of get uh, er, fake like I get agitated at those questions, but the truth is, until until he can win it, I guess I, I guess that's fair. So, um, although at this point, the the only thing uh, higher that he has to get to is a national title. He's been there which Rick never got yeah. there, but um, yeah, anyway.